Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro is a slice of life comedy anime based around the premise of the daily happenings with, of course, Nagatoro and her senpai, a kind of a wallflower like art student who, no matter how hard you push or tease, never fights back. And Miss Nagatoro loves this to bits. This show is incredibly charming and very, very funny. It is simple and yet keeps you hooked on seeing what the hell happens next and how these characters evolve beyond what they currently are. I think anybody who likes the classic slice of life comedy animes will dearly like this one, with one slight catch. Be warned, Nagatoro goes for the throat at times. The whole premise is this girl toying and messing with this guy, and I just want to make sure people know that eventually you'll understand the kind of background deal going on between them. But at least right now, at the beginning, it kind of seems at times cruel, and maybe even a little bit too much, or too far even. But I promise you, at least for me, if you're anything like me, eventually, Bit by bit, you will start to fall in love with both of these characters and their weirdness and rather demented proclivities. <laughs> At least one of them. Very slowly, you will start to see <laughs> this senpai character get more and more confident, egged on by Nagatoro the entire time. But again, be warned, the beginning couple episodes might leave you a little frustrated with Nagatoro, or you might just love it. <laughs> Depends on what kind of person you are, but I promise, if you hold in there, when it's all said and done, I think you'll really, really enjoy this show. Especially if you like comedy shows, especially when you like weird animation and art styles. And if you like, and this is something that the show kind of talks to, the simplicity of daily life and how simple yet strange encounters can make your daily life wonderful. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, it is confirmed that there is going to be a season two, whenever that may be. So invest, because the stocks are pretty high, and if you like what you get in season one, well, there's more coming. So invest now, I guess. The person I think would get the most out of this show is people who like comedy anime that are simple, fun, and in weird ways wholesome. Granted, this one has a little bit of a catch. Again, she sometimes goes through the throat. <laughs> so be careful, have fun, uh, and I would highly suggest this show to those kinds of people. Thank you kindly for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Hope I can see more of you. Consider subscribing. Thank you again, and goodbye.